have a take your more take your time more it is a very easy steps. The step 1 is non protein calories calculation, the step 2 is carbohydrate and fat ratio decision, step 3 is protein in grams calculation, step 4 is carbohydrate in grams, step 5 is the fat in grams, step 6 is water requirement, step 7 decide specific macronutrients, step 8 micronutrients trace elements, electrolytes and vitamins. Step 9, decide the route and administrative system. The last step is near match commercial preparation. So, the near match commercial preparation is was the last step which we are discussing, whether it may be oliclonomal, whether it may be cubby van, small cubby van, there are humpty number of solution, TPA solutions are available. There are many companies are producing the parental nutrition preparations, but before that we need all these calculations. So, for all our calculations we need a weight of the patient. Most of the time in the hospital surgical patients work in, they will come with a weight in the pre-op assessment we will have a weight, but when they become critically ill coming straight to the ICU and getting admitted there, we cannot get the actual body weight of the patients. If you have the actual body weight it will add up informations to you, but sometimes you cannot get the actual body weight, but remember there are three types of body weights each has its own significance which we all should know. What do you mean by actual body weight, ideal body weight, adjusted body weight? Actual body weight is the present weight of an individual at a given day, present weight of the patient is the actual body weight. Ideal body weight is the individual's weight ideal for his height. So, as a critical care physician we all know we tend to ventilate the patient for the ideal body weight. All the ventilators are now available with the ideal body weight calculation on the side of the ventilator. Once you know the height of the patient you can decide the ideal body weight and your tidal volume should be to the ideal body weight. It is a adjustable body weight is nothing but ideal body weight plus 0.4 of the actual body weight minus ideal body weight. So, this is a adjustable body weight. So, these are the definitions, let us see the significance of it. Regarding weight and nutrition, which is true? Feed all the patients ideal body weight like feeding, uh, like giving them the tidal volume for the ideal body weight. What do you think about this concept? Feeding the patients ideal body weight. If you do not know the actual body weight, feed them for the ideal body weight. It is fairly ok, but it is not all the time correct. Nutrition calculations are as per actual body weight. No, if suppose if you have a adjusted body weight we have to use it in some occasions, ideal body weight we have to choose it in some occasions. So, it is not actually for all the time nutrition is for the actual body weight, hope you got the point. 